Hello, and welcome to another ARK Survival Evolved dossier. We have the Dung Beetle. Now, of course, you've probably heard of the Dung Beetle before. It's a bug that rolls and eats poop. That's what it's all about. So obviously, it'll be right in place when it comes to ARK. Makes a lot of sense when you think about it. So the species here is Scarabidae gigas from the Holocene era. It is a coprophagic... I suppose that means it eats poop, and it's passive. So, I'm not entirely sure how big these guys are going to be. They're probably going to be, you know, of course, bigger than real life ones, so you can like, at least see them in the game. But, I don't know if they're necessarily going to be giant dung beetles. I think this dossier specifically doesn't say how large it's going to make them. So, it'll be a bit of a surprise when we come down to it. But, looking in the pictures down below, it shows that they are about the size of a poop. So... I'm assuming that they're going to be like the size of a, you know, medium poop, not any smaller than that, because they will be tameable. Now, of course, we can tell this by the little collar on it, and by taming them, we can get lots of things. When it comes down to this guy, it is a quite blatant way of Ark telling us, yeah, we're throwing this guy in so you guys can have an easier time playing, you know, another utility creature, if you will. In the wild, what magic created the Scarabidae Gygus? I cannot say. What I can say is that the creature is a perfect symbiont for advanced human tribes. Coprophagic, it eats waste. It metabolizes the waste into a more refined waste product, along with an oily byproduct. So pretty much what this is saying is it takes poop, it eats the poop, and it turns it into very useful gasoline and fertilizer. Well, not necessarily gasoline, but it turns it into oil and fertilizer. Now, this oil can be used to create gasoline, or just used as oil, and the fertilizer can be used to fertilize your crops. In the bottom left, it says, The oily byproduct is chemically the same as the oil found in oceans around the island. Somehow, Scarabidae converts feces into oil. If that wasn't reason enough to worship the Scarabidae, the refined waste product is almost identical to fertilizer from a compost bin. Now, I don't know how that happens, I don't know why that happens, but it does and I'm not going to complain about it. Fertilizer is a really annoying thing to keep up with. It's one of those massive chores you got to do to keep a you know successful tribe going. This guy helps eliminate that. It also helps eliminate the need to farm oil. So it, I think it will definitely be a good thing, especially for a tribe like mine that has plenty of dinosaurs that poop everywhere. So when you domesticate this guy, it makes me think humans have been on this island for a long time. Why else would a creature be such a perfect pet? Most tribes jealously protect their scarabidae, who are handily tamed with the skilled use of some well-handed feces. These wondrous little organic biofactories are truly a sustainable, green, eco-friendly source of resources for living off the land. Oil becomes gas, which is generator fuel. Fuel means crops, which is human fuel. The Scaribidae can power all the aspects of island life. So this guy is probably going to be the most useful tame in the game. You grab a bunch of these guys, and it is amazing resources just from him eating poop. I think it's pretty good stuff, pretty amazing thing to have, and it says here you tame them by using poop. So they should be fairly easy to, t to tame, in fact the first uh, insect since the scorpion that will be tameable, so that'll definitely be interesting. Of course if you want to just kill these guys I'm sure they'll have a source of chitin, it doesn't specifically say here that they have a good source of chitin, but I believe they would of course because well, they're a beetle, so they, they kind of have you know an insect shell. So stuff like that, but I think these guys are going to be, once again, one of those really useful things to have in the game. Um, we're going to get the snails in the game, we're going to get the beetles, and we're just going to leave them around to generate resources for us. There's really not going to be any use besides that, and we're going to have bugs crawling all around the base, but it's going to be for the best thing. Just having all these resources just come right to you. Sounds like a good plan to me, but let me know what you guys think. Will you have beetles crawling around your base? Do you want to see beetles crawling around my base? Leave a like, and I guess that's all we have to say. So thank you for watching this video, and I suppose I'll see you next time.